Squash Squats today. I think I should do the, the KD warm up today. The KD warm up today for some squats. We had some legs today. Came to the Gold's Gym, Pasadena. Saw it on the gram, so thought I'd swing by. This is a corporate gym, which it kind of looks like it's like the, all the old school looking Gold's Gyms that are pretty big or corporate gyms, which makes sense. It's about like warehouse size. Got a middle outdoor area and then a cardio area. So it's, it's pretty cool. I fuck with it. It's a little bit, it's like it's old school trying to be modern, but the modern equipment is like, oh, <laughs> but it is here. So I'd rather come here than to the gold gym that I go to in Glendale because it's just too, it's too like, too machiney. So get warmed up, huh? Yeah, so so. I'm still, uh, I'm just having a hard time getting the flexibility for it. Yeah. So I just kind of like, all right, whatever. Yeah, and my wrists. Tokyo 2020. To 20, to Tokyo 2020. Uh, I realize I do bench too much to fucking. Uh, Dude, you. That was strong. Yeah, but like Olympic lifting is a different type of strong. Yeah. When it comes to like, when it comes to all these lifting, it's just different. Yeah, I mean, 135 kicks my ass. Just, just doing, you know, overhead squats, doing, doing, um, um, Overhead snatches. I mean, and it's just, you can do like clean jump with it easily, but you can do a complex with it. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, yeah. The two spot, the two jump. Yeah, nah. See, jump. stuff like that. Yeah. It's a lot of endurance stuff, too. What time is usually busy here? Yeah. I guess it's John Crane here. Uh, Terry Cruz. Yeah, Ter who? Uh, Terry Cruz. Oh, Terry Cruz trains here? Oh, word. Terry Cruz collab coming. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we, we should be on a mission. Train here at this time every day. Yeah, exactly. Euro training. <laughs> Euro training with Terry Crews. Right. Let's put some weight on the bar. Still got my Ultra Instinct shoes. Ever since I got out of school, bro, I stopped writing. I stopped caring how to spell. Yeah, I got, I'm, I got to. I gotta start getting back into it before I get illiterate. <laughs> I gotta start reading. I used to, I was, I was reading, I was doing good. I was reading every day, and then I stopped. And cause I, that's just one thing I like about my dad. My dad reads every day. He may, he may be talking like, my dad still talk like an old school Negro, but he read every day before bed. I gotta do that more. How y'all like that last video though? 725 daddies, 725 daddies on deck. The gaps are so big, they need like a hole in between each. What did you say? If you start coming here often, we should get a weightlifting session. Together. You wanna do a weightlifting session? Yeah. All right, man. I mean, I'll try to come through here. I'm only like 15 minutes away. Yeah, dude, like a bunch of YouTubers are starting to do weightlifting now, but dude, I really want to see you do it because you're explosive as hell. It's just hard. It's just I so mean, hard. Mobility is the thing, but you're explosive. People usually don't have that, you know? Maybe. Maybe. I'll think about it. I'll think about it again. It's just my, yeah, my shoulder mobility is my hips and shoulders is what kills me. He got fronts, so I got backs today. My man's out here is blind. But yeah, he's in the gym. Getting work in. That's dope. It's like Daredevil. I need to go to a massage therapist for a cut. Bruh. I choose where I'ma live based on the gyms around. Like no bullshit. If there is not a gym in a 15 minute radius, I'm not moving there. New York got some trash ass gyms. Oh shit, Tehran has a belt.
I'll be seconds away from pinching my skin. I need to hit 600 today. Last video, 725 dead. Today I would like a 600 squat. Make sure you hit that like button, man. We kinda in a rough spot lately. I know I ain't been lifting heavy lately. Kind of, uh, kind of been eye-opening to see that. Only way pretty much to get those views is lift heavy. Nah, I'm just joking. Honestly, we just been kinda chilling. We don't give a fuck. But we notice, we notice algorithm stuff. We notice what videos do good and what videos don't, you know. And I'm trying so hard to constantly like, it's just always the videos that are asked for, just, they just always, they just don't do good. Like the athletic stuff, I know y'all love the athletic stuff. I'm trying to come around and do more stuff like that, you know, but they just don't get no love. I just be like, fuck. So I'm trying to like get back in the mentality, like yo, like, like this is for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like regardless, I need to do stuff that really helps the people out there and um, you know, get out the, the social media head person type of stuff. It's like, ah, oh, this don't do good, let's drop that, you know? So, it's like, it's like do what the crowd wants, but yet, you know, sometimes of this, this, this crowd wants this stuff and this crowd wants this stuff, and this crowd is like, which is the main stuff that does good, you know, for everybody, I don't fucking know. We still trying to figure this shit out, man. Three, four, four years running a YouTube game and we still trying to figure this shit out. Hey, but Terry Crews, if you see this video, I'm in your gym, bro. Like, Euro training. Euro training. Let's get it. I stopped doing deadlifts before squat day. Just gonna steal this weight. That's why I feel off. Nigga ain't playing no music. I'm like, why my energy kind of low? Well, my my hype, it's not energy. I got a lot of energy. Like I'm hot, I'm good, I'm ready. But I'm not zoned out. I'm not zoned out enough. I need the uh, the power of music. They got my favorite leg press machine here too. It's like this weird, whatever. Oh, you can, you can load shit load of plates in there. I'm going loco, brother, with the nigga. Slight pause at the bottom. So, my introduction back in the getting on that squat game is kind of working my way up. Single reps, kind of get a little pause at the bottom. Not not being scared of the weight. And mentally, like I know I can get like 6:30 or something. It's just not being scared of the weight anymore, or not being, yeah, worried about damn, am I going to come up? Because a lot of stuff with me is mental. I know I got the strength. Strength is there. Um, I just have to come in here and constantly bang out, you know, a lot of times the same stuff, you know, whether it's one rep, two reps, you know, th th you know this workout will be one rep for back squad and then one rep front squad. Week two will be going for two reps at my uh, heaviest weight of the week before and, um, you know, trying to progress like that. So I have different ways to gain my strength um, that I've calculated and like written down over the years that worked and what didn't. So that's why you see a lot of back and forth. People think I'm doing a lot of random shit. Um, like, yo, you need to get on a power, you need to get on a program to run, you need to get, like, yo, I have shit written down that I've done, what worked and what didn't work. You know what I'm saying? If I've already written down what worked and what didn't work for me, you know, why do I need to go to somebody else? You know what I'm saying? So, like, I know, I know what works. Like, I, I'm, I am the test subject of my own project, so, you know, let me work on what I have instead of what somebody else has, you know. Like, mind you, you know, there's stuff I can still learn, but, you know, I'm already in the process of trying to build something myself right now. Now, if I wanted to go for that, then, yeah, I would look out for somebody, like, hey, you know, this is what I want to do. Can you write a program for me? But at this time, 
Like I, I'm already the master of what I know and I'm still working on, oh, Tehran's using clamps, what? Those numbers and stuff. It's right, it seems like you always go for heavy math, max, blah, 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 whatever, this, that. I'm like, honestly, <laughs> I'm be totally honest. I try to make as much progress with as little effort as possible. All right, like there is working hard, working smart. You already know. If I don't have to do, you know, this amount of weight for five, 10 reps, and I can find a way to get that same amount of feel or work done and get stronger with something that I can do just with under five reps, then I'm gonna go for the under five reps. Simple as that. And the power, I mean, less time wasted, less energy exerted. So easy money. I mean, it is what it is. We still out here working. We still out here moving weight. I'm still getting stronger. So it doesn't matter. So yeah. Me and Jeff got up early today, so we training early, filming early. Jeff went to bed, you went to bed like 10 o'clock? You went to bed at 10. I've been watching this show called Angels of Death. It is the weirdest, boringest shit ever, but I can't stop watching it, bro. When I tell you this shit makes, bro, this shit, bro, it's so annoying, bro. There's a character in the, in the, in the, in the series that is just so annoying, and, but yet, that shit just, you just sit there and watch and be like, yo, I gotta watch the next episode. <laughs> I gotta find out. Like now, nah. it's like it's like it makes you it's like now nah, I gotta finish this shit. Mm. Speaking of crazy action, we just watched John Wick yesterday. Jeff was saying it's too much action. Nah, but it's good. I mean, uh, it's good. There's, but there's no such thing as too much action. When, yeah, when, no, no, there definitely is such thing as too no, much action. No, when you when you go into an action movie, there's no such thing as too much action. Mm. If there's a lot of shit that's going on, like with no with no like story to it or then yeah, it's just too much. Yeah. Like, I expect something like that from a movie called Hardcore Henry. And it's just, you know. That was too much. That was just every second. What's a, what, you know, you know a good balance, what's a good, what, what's a good balanced action well, movie? I like, I like Crank. Crank. Cause it's like, he still had, he, he had to keep moving the whole fucking movie, right? But yet, and still, it wasn't like crazy every. Oh yeah, they're, they're, what else? What else? What was the other movie he was in? Uh, the Mechanic, The Transporter, The Mechanic. It's gonna be the or something. The Meg. The Meg. What happened? I'm been in a bar. I don't know. I think these bars are hold. See, I'm supposed to have merch by now, but the company I chose. Kind of, first off, they took hella long and they kind of messed up print. So I won't be doing stuff with them. Therefore, I am moving on to uh, another merch company. Now, mind you, guys, I'm coming out with merch and I'm coming out with the clothing line. The clothing line is going to be like that, you know, that combination of fitness, fitness lifestyle and like that nerdy lifestyle, like anime shit, you know what I'm saying, gaming stuff, like some cool dope shit, but like some like, in like in shit you know what i'm saying and um got some more shit working on too fuck. <laughs> 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 It ain't 600. I'm gonna get there though. I'm gonna get there. You know what? You know what? Let's add 20 more pounds. Let's add 20 more pounds. If I fail, I fail, but I'm not. Okay, you know what? I ain't gonna say the F word. 605, baby. Ain't nothing but a number. We out here. It ain't shit but a biscuit. Drop. Floating. Schoolboy Q. 21 Savage. Hey, hey, hey. Get the fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here, man. Shit. I was trying to do something like Larry and Russ. They take the belt off. Yeah. I take my headphones off. <laughs>
We down here with a squat. Kill some leg press. Let's head to my favorite leg press machine. Then after that, we'll probably do some straight legs. Straight legs is what's been really helping me with uh, deadlifts and squat. Single leg straight leg and RDLs. A lot of lower back strengthening, tight core training, ab wheel, stuff you can do at home, good mornings. For me, it's going hard on those accessory things, those non-compound movements a lot of times. That, that's, that gives me that extra strength. Just saying gear, you go aftermath for 10% off. Once again, just saying gear, aftermath 10% off. <laughs> when that nigga says that shit is hilarious. I'm using way too many napkins. <laughs> it's so random. Hey look, there is a difference between good music and hype music. Hype music just make you like feel thug, feel like like, yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's good? Good music is a different vibe, all right? With melodies, you know, instruments used, the lyricism, the wording. It's good music. High music doesn't mean it's good music. It just is hype music. It just makes you feel a certain way. That don't mean it's good. So, I'm just saying, I know music. If anything, I know, I know music. Blueface is not good music. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hype music. It's hype music. The shit he be saying is on some different. Yo, what is two dicks? Is he? What is, is it? What is he saying? He said something like two dicks in all his songs. Like I don't get it. What are you saying, bro? So he on some other shit, but it'll get you hyped though, and make you do the make you do the the pelvic thrust. Woo! Woo! Stop on your right foot and don't forget it. <laughs> Oh, comment below if you know what that's from. Jeff don't know because he hates that cartoon. Yeah, I I like his ad lift too. Yeah, I. Up, nice man. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, I've seen you on YouTube before. Oh, I appreciate and it. Yeah. Flex is yeah, 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 yeah. Go. Where you from? Yeah, uh, from England. England. Appreciate right, it, bro. Ain't no problem. Let me tell you how I come through with the one, two, kick shit like kung fu.
straight leg, but I'm not sure because I just did a deadlift yesterday. So I don't think it'll be the best thing to do right now. So I think we're done here. Catch you guys later on the next video. Catch me on Twitch, 6 p.m. PST. Uh, 6 p.m. PST, Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at 6 p.m. PST. Follow the Twitch channel now. Bye. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Hey, man.